demonstrate some of the interesting features of the lock and load. First thing, have a drawstring, a little ball stop. So to open up the bag, push in the ball stop, open it up, flip the bag over, let straps and the hardware fall out. Next step, keep your hand on what was the bottom of the bag, grab the red bag and just pull it around the outside, and now the bag that it came in is the red warning flag that you need for extended cargo. To show you what this looks like, basically have the mesh net, high visibility, yellow and blue contrasting colors to help you, and the red bag flop around very very visible and bigger than just a small tiny piece. So this is where we start. In order to use the lock and load, I'll show you a feature while we're here first. This is called a cam buckle. The cam buckle has a spring loaded lever that basically allows you to pull the strap through and doesn't allow it to pull backwards unless you push the lever. So push the lever down with your thumb, pull the strap out, there you go. The neat thing about what we've done with the lock and load is we've sewn this tab on it, so that will never come undone. You may buy some of the straps with a cam buckle at the hardware store or at your home supply store, and you may have to thread that up the first time or get them where they are and then they pull out. That's terribly frustrating. Ours will not do that. The other nice feature with the lock and load is just the fact that you can take this, put it up, pull it out of the bag and redeploy it and the straps will never get tangled. The trick to that is we use the carabiner. So the carabiner clips onto the o-ring when you put it up. So when you put it up we clip the red strap with the carabiner. So this is the carabiner onto the red strap side. We also take the blue carabiner and clip that onto the blue strap side. Color coordinated just so we have different straps in case for some reason you didn't clip it back on and it does get tangled. That way you can keep them separate. So red also helps us put the red on the right side of the truck, blue on the left side, or if you have an extended board like sheetrock, you notice that we have the red straps that will go to the top of the, the long wide cargo and the blue straps, the way they distribute the load, will come off of the bottom. Alright, so let me show you several times how you put the lock and load back up. Remember I've got the carabiners clipped onto the o-ring, so we just grab the yellow net. Take the red bag, flip it inside out, and then you just bunch and feed all the straps in. When you do it this way, it never gets tangled up. Take the drawstring, let it fall under its own weight, use the ball stop down, there you go. Three pounds, less than the size of a gallon of paint. Let's do it one more time. Open the drawstring, flip it over, pull the bag inside out, ready to go. Now I'm going to go put it on the truck, 16 foot board.
other thing. I'll show you how I've attached it. Now I've got two locking loads on there just for demonstration. But what I've done is I've added some attachment hardware to the back of my pickup truck and you can do this where you go. Also notice that I do have another strap across the front of the bed just to keep the boards if for some reason they do come loose we recommend you have a tie down across the front of the board so lock and load keeps it from coming out the board in the front just helps it stay down all right here we go I'm gonna get this off of the truck gather 